we're going to make this from this. So let's go. I've used cardboard from cornflakes packs. What I've done, because this food grade cardboard has this weird kind of shine on, you can see this one, I've, I've already sanded it a bit so it doesn't. What I've found, if when I'm making jewellery with card, I sand that sheen off. It's a bit messy, but it's really worth it because the glue adheres much better. So I've used, the PVA glue that I've used came from B&Q, a, a DIY store, and it's a plastering, bonding, that kind of thing. And I just find it's a bit more robust than ordinary craft glue. So just copy what I'm doing here. This is a gift card, an expired gift card. <laughs> it's just really, really useful for spreading glue evenly. So you need to do this on both sides. It's, it is quite messy. And you can see there the, the the conditioned cardboard. It's much, much better than using cardboard without being conditioned with glue. So next you need to cut out 15 squares. And you need to make one necklace, you need 15 of these squares. And then you're going to glue them together in sets of five. So you end up with three tiles. Not too much glue, just enough to bond the layers. And when you've done them and let them dry, they, they really are robust. They're, they're quite like wood, really. Next, I'm going to paint the backs and sides with black acrylic. I think that one came from Lidl's, but you can use any good quality black acrylic paint. Best to give it a couple of coats. Just make sure that you, you do cover the sides. You don't need to do the front because the front's going to be covered up and leave them to dry. Okay, so this next step, I'm going to make three tube beads and you can use whatever you want. I have actually had this printed on a piece of 6 by 4 photographic paper and I'm using um, another square that I cut out to get the width. Because we need these tube beads to be the exact width of the tiles that we have just made. You need three of these strips per necklace. This is a bead tool that I designed and I manufacture these myself. You can actually buy these tools in my Etsy shop. I will leave links to everything in the description at the end of this you will be able to get the designs that I've used here you'll be able to get the bead tool if you don't put black on the edges of the paper when you've finished rolling this, the end of the tube bead will be white and that's not what we want. So you can either do what I just did and just put ink on the edge of the strip, bead strip, or you can just roll as is and then use a black Sharpie to colour the end. I just prefer to use ink, but it doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really make any difference which way you do it.
Okay, so these are bead cores. If you've never made paper beads before, you may not be familiar with these. I will try and find a source for those also. So to to do this, I take a paintbrush and I push the bead cord down to the fattest part so it can't go any further. And it just kind of makes it a lot easier to put the PVA glue on because otherwise it's quite messy. And it also makes it easy to fit the core because, well, you can see what I'm about to do here. So you need to do that with all three of the tube beads. And then just put them to one side. We'll come back to those later. So I'm using glossy accents to glaze the tiles. It just kind of seals them. And put the glaze on the back and we will do the sides as well. But I find it's easier if I just do the backs, let the backs dry and then I do the sides. So now I'm about to do the sides here. I mean you can try and do the whole thing in one go if you want to. I just find it's easier to do it this way. Otherwise you get your fingers all sticky. And then take your, your square craft punch again. And as you can see, I open mine up and I use it upside down so that I can make sure there's no white showing. And you're going to need three of those. This sheet will be in my Etsy shop. The design is repeated three times on the sheet and then there's another design that's printed three times. So you can make two necklaces from one sheet of six by four. You can either print it yourself or do what I do. I actually get mine printed at photographic printers. I find it's cheaper that way. There are two more designs on there, so you can either make individual pendants from those or you would need to get three sheets done. Now I am going to fit the two beads along the top, so you just do what I've done here, put a line of hot glue. Make sure that when you stick the two bead on here, you put it with the seam side where you finished rolling your bead onto the um, line of glue. Just makes everything neater. The next thing you need to do is put these glass domes on.
So the next thing I'm going to do is make my spacer beads. Now I've only used two per necklace. You could use four if you wanted to put beads on the outside of the, the tiles as well. But I just used four. Now this this blue thing that I've got here is a really nifty little thing for getting blades off your scalpel handle safely without cutting your fingers. Um, I don't know if I can... They may have them on Amazon. I'll have a look. And if they do, I'll, I'll put that in my shop too. Um, but I got kind of fed up with cutting myself when I was changing blades. So. The, these bead strips that I've um, got here, they are exactly the same design as the design that I've put on the tiles. And again, I am using this damp pad to blacken the edges of the strip for the, for exactly the same reason as I did the tube beads. I mean, the tube beads aren't... It is not so important to blacken the edges of those if you are going to use the bead cores. But I know some of you may not have bead cores, may not want to get bead cores, so it's important for the people that are not using bead cores in the tube beads to blacken the edges um, and even though we are going to be using bead cores for these spacer beads you still need to blacken the edges because there will be um, the white will show even with the bead cores I hope that makes sense I think most people get the hang of you know most people will get the hang of what I'm trying to explain here <laughs> this speed tool I make two sizes I make this one which is actually for European style beads that's what this bead these these spacer beads are European style beads and that's what I designed this particular tool for it has a five millimeter um, shaft on it and You'll see when I get to the part where I put these on the leather thong, that's why these beads need a bigger hole, so that you can get much fatter threading material through them, or put them on a kind of a European style bracelet. But yeah, they're in that that tool is in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link below for anybody that hasn't got a tool to do this with. And at the moment, when people order a 5mm tool, I am actually sending you a 3mm tool completely free. I will do that until my stocks run out. So I'm just repeating here what I did with the tube beads using the paintbrush. I actually just used that the fat part of the paintbrush to stretch the core of the bead. I just push it down to the fattest part of the paintbrush and then twist it round so that I'm kind of opening that hole out so I can be sure that the bead core will fit. Because nothing worse than when you put one of these cores in and all it does is push the middle of the bead out. So I find that if I if I push the paintbrush in first of all and twist it around, you do have to be careful because you don't want to push the middle of the bead out, but just twist it round to make sure you're not going to try and push the bead core in and the middle part of the bead kind of collapses or anything. If you've never made paper beads before, you know, you may find this part quite a challenge but believe me practice makes perfect I've been making these beads for years now and and even now sometimes I have my disasters <laughs> I probably should show you sometime And these cores, they just 
give the beads that finished professional look. This is the leather thong that I'm using. I will see if I can put some of those into my Amazon shop too for people that um, don't know where to get them. I can't guarantee that I can find a supplier for you but I will try. And then it's just a question of threading them all together. And as I said, you could put beads on either end as well if you wanted to. I, I didn't want to, I just wanted to have mine in the middle. And there you have your boho hippie necklace all ready for summer. Not that we've got much sign of summer here in the UK at the moment. It's middle of March and it's really cold and we have snow. Unheard of, really. There's a single one that I made. So you could just, you don't have to put three on there, you could just put one. And as I said, these exact designs are going to be available in my Etsy shop. So that's what you get. You get two designs of three each and then the, the ones at the bottom you could either make single pendants from them or just get extra prints done see the black tube bead these are the strips that you need to make those and you also get the strips that you need to make the spacer beads so this is what you get in the bundle you get the two six by fours and either an a4 sheet of the spacer beads or us letter size and there it is <laughs> i'll see you next time if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and tap the bell icon and then you won't miss any of my future videos thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye